What's up everyone, welcome to Audio Architects. I am Mike, and today I want to go over pre-amplification. So my whole dilemma is I'm using an external amplifier. So obviously my integrated amplifier, my Yamaha AS501 does not do any kind of, you know, line out or anything like that. So I needed a pre-amplifier to be able to communicate with the big amplifier. So I did a little bit of research online. I found a couple units that I liked. However, money is tight right now. So I went on Amazon and I found one by FX Audio for like 44 bucks. It's this tiny little tube amplifier i don't know I, I i took a i you know rolled the dice on the whole thing and honestly i'm pretty impressed so i want to break down exactly what this amplifier can do its features its specifications so that way if you guys are looking for the best bang for your buck this may very well could be a great option for you so stay tuned and check this out. The FX Audio Home Audio GE5654 tube preamp is small, simple, and overall does what it's meant to do. The brushed metal case gives the preamp a sleek, elegant design. It's very lightweight, and at four and three quarters by three and three quarters, it can literally fit in the palm of your hand. The chassis is made of a solid aluminum alloy and uses accurate and stable integrated circuits and good quality components at the attempt to lessen or even eliminate low frequency noise and providing clean and clear sound quality. The PCB board is made from FR for insulation and black immersion gold craft. This process costs more to make however increases temperature resistance, lessens the chance of oxidation and overall lasts much longer than silver or tin. The one feature I had to have in this purchase was tone control. That is why I was so sad that I couldn't use my Yamaha for the time being. The tone control on the Yamaha is very intuitive. However, the knob on the front of the FX Audio tube amp have a very cool tactile feel to them. They control the bass and treble quite nicely, so job well done. In the back of the amplifier, you'll find the RCA inputs and outputs. This is literally all you're gonna need out of this unit. Later on in another video, I will show you how to build a custom streamer, use a DAC, and direct all that traffic into this unit. This preamp is the conduit to your system, and as I've mentioned, it does a fantastic job for its size and overall build. In the box, you're gonna find the preamp preamp, two 5654 tubes, a power supply, an RCA cable, and the user manual. Simple, easy, effective. So overall, I really enjoyed the sound that came out of this FX Audio tube amplifier. I'm running it directly into a Stark Sound 84, which is providing power to two Aperion Audio Varus 3 Grand Towers. And it sounds phenomenal. It's a very nice, mellow, fun sound. It's hard to describe. I don't like describing sounds in weird, you know, audio philia words but it's it's a very pleasant sound that these uh not only the amplification but the speakers are producing so stay tuned because i will be reviewing the tower speakers i am doing a brand new web series called quest for the best speaker edition so i hope everybody enjoyed the subwoofer edition that i did not too long ago if you haven't checked it out yet go back and check it out because i kind of broke down each type of subwoofer and how it can help you in your system so i'm going to do kind of the same thing for speakers so i'm going to do tower bookshelves, powered, vintage, a little bit of everything. So stay tuned for that. Thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed the content, definitely smash that like button, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so you get notified anytime I put out new content. Thanks again and have a great week.